did and had a big time game against us. Now, what's your advice to Kenny or any assistant coach about finding the right fit when they're looking for head coaching jobs down the road? Well, let me, let me just say, when you're looking for a job or you're chasing jobs, you're not getting them. You gotta have people that want you. And in Kenny's case, there are people that will want him, but now it's just what is a good job for him. The greatest thing for Kenny is that this university's made it so that he didn't have to leave unless it's a really good job. And um, he's done a great thing for us here and me personally. Um, aside from coaching, you know, he's, he, in this profession, you gotta be like brothers. Like, I got you, you got me, it's, it's because it's just too hard. And then what he does to challenge these kids, look, they can't hear my voice. I mean, I don't go to many of the film sessions. I let the staff do that. I'm not at the pregame meals. They can't hear me. And then I can't always be the tough guy. You gotta have people that are willing to be hard on them, yet let them know that you care about them. So he's done, he, whatever happens for him, um, you know, he's gonna be in good shape. And the only thing, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed because I think David's doing a great job. And it's not fair to have all this stuff. Let him coach his team. You know, David may be the guy for the job. Well, let the season play out. Why would why would you throw any and, and who would be out there throwing landmines in front of this guy? I don't know, but it's certainly not us and me and our staff. But you know, let him let him do his job. He had our game, okay. <clears throat> How about if he wins the rest? And wins the national title? Yeah, but he lost to Kentucky. Stop it. I try to tell our fans, it's one game. Glad it's over. But it's one game. And, you know, I, I think, again, that watching the tape and what he's done and how he's done it, I think he's doing great work. And this season, you know, he's, he was thrown into a tough situation. I mean, think about it. And then there's always, he has to answer questions. And they just continue the same questions. And his players are answering. I mean, and this guy's still doing the job. What's your record? Anybody know? And other than our game, they should have won the other two. So that's disappointing to me. Uh, but in, in the case of Kenny, I'm going to support and help. And like all my guys, Tony's ready to be a head coach. And that's, again, if he, he chooses to do that, there are going to be opportunities for him. And, you know, so let those guys. And, it's like anything else, you know, we, we figure out what's next. Now, when you're talking about coaches, when you're going up against Rick, a good friend of yours, you've done it, you know, whatever it's been, and since he's been in Tennessee every year now, does it, does it get any easier when you're going up against a good friend like that, or, or is it still the same as, as it's always been? The only thing is easier is if you do get dinged, I can walk up and seriously say I'm happy for you, and I am happy for him, and he knows it. Um, there are other games that I just say, good job. And I'm not happy for you without saying that. <laughs> At all. <laughs> you jag off. <laughs> That's my Pittsburgh coming out. It's been a while. Uh, but, you know, for what I hate playing friends. I hate it. Um, but there are certain games like. Bob Huggins and I are on the phone. I'm, I'm hating that we have to go down there. But he's doing a function for his mother's charity. So we were talking about it today. And, uh, you know, you, you go down and you play the game. And you want to win, you coach to win, and, and, you know, you're not down looking down the sideline at him, and you're not worried about it. And, you know, it's just, it's. Let me just say, when you talk, Rick, and the friends of mine, We've all survived, which is amazing. We're still like coaching after all these years, like 30. And still, I'm still enjoying it and I know they are. Uh, they'll do this a lot longer than I will. But, you know, being able to go to Tennessee, I just keep telling myself, because this becomes a grind, that I need to just be grateful that I'm having an opportunity to coach here and coaching these kind of games. How many people would want to coach in that game? What I feel, we may lose. We, and I, I told the team the same thing. You know, you, you only know if you're going to win or lose when you win or lose. 
So why worry about it? Go prepare your team and get ready. You're not going to change the outcome by worrying more. You only know if you're going to win or lose when you win or lose. And so, you know, as I get into the season, what happens for me is I forget how hard this is. I mean, this is really hard doing what I'm doing with these young kids and then having, I'm not going to say the whole world's against us. I'd say most of it don't. Like, you don't have anybody, like, cheering you on. It's like every game, and I imagine most people watching this on TV are not saying, go Kentucky, <laughs> unless you live in Kentucky, unless you're part of the, the big blue nation or the, the blue dust that's out there. And it's hard, but for all of us, and those players included, just grateful that I have the opportunity to coach here, to coach this team, and I've got great kids. I mean, every day I walk in and I see them, I know how good they are and how they want to please me. But the other side, it's, it's not easy.